Hey, what is up guys? It is Justin here and I'm bringing you finally the second vlog. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while. I said I would do up like I would upload weekly vlogs, but I've been unsuccessful with thinking about ideas and I told you guys in the live streams a couple times, but I decided um, this is going to be more of a personal community channel outside of my main channel. If you have any suggestions of what you like to see in these vlogs, feel free to post it in the comments. I know there's already a couple people that wanted me to upload some skateboarding footage of my penny board when I go outside, so I might do that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but I just kind of want to direct my channel towards different topics. And my first topic here I want to talk about is YouTube. And I get asked all the time, like, oh, Lamb Chops, it must be great to do what you do. I mean, you make money just from playing video games. Well, like, how do you do it and uh, how do I get started? Because it sounds great, right? You make money from it. And when I started YouTube, like, my main mission was never to make money. I swear to God, I didn't. Uh, when I first made uh, these YouTube videos, you can go all the way back to the beginning, was to get trades on my players. I did have another channel before this. And that was very unsuccessful. I posted like 20, 30 trade day results and stuff like that. And it never really worked out. Uh, but I just wanted to get trades for my stuff. And it just kind of happened where I just got into the NHL community from people finding me. And I got shout outs and kind of just propelled my YouTube channel from there. And now I'm almost, uh, what, fifth or sixth biggest NHL YouTuber so far. And I'm pretty proud of myself for that, uh, for accomplishing that at least. And I really, I think I've grown quite a bit since... That first day in March 2013 to all the way now in almost August and almost it's been a year and like two three months so it's been a while uh, for sure and every time I get kind of criticized about how much money I make or something like that the popularity uh, I just always remind myself like uh, I've really worked my way up to this point um, it, I never got I would never have gotten it without all of my fans for sure I do thank them a lot in my live streams that's why I live stream a lot. Uh, I don't even play NHL that much outside of my live streams and just to make videos. Uh, other than that, NHL has gone pretty stale for me at least. And for one thing, I get asked all the time, like I said, uh, people want, want to know how to start YouTube and make money, but that should not be your main mission. It should never be. Uh, that, that should never be your objective, all right? Um, for sure, you could uh, run a YouTube channel off that, but I really love doing this as a hobby. Uh, and it really does show in your videos. If you're out to make YouTube videos just for the money, it kind of shows in your content what you're trying to do. Uh, when I'm playing NHL, uh, it, it the thing I love to do is so easy to make a video out of. You know what I mean? It's not forced at as much as you guys think. Uh, I try not to force it. Uh, it's getting a little bit more forced because it's the end of the year, but uh, you just got to know, like, uh, NHL... Uh, or making YouTube's and making YouTube videos in general it, it is a process. I've made over 500 videos, 20 minutes, well, 10, 20 minutes each. You can calculate that for yourself, but it's a lot of time and effort into these videos. Not even including editing as well. Uh, it's one of those things where if you can't uh, can't handle the heat, you just get out of the kitchen kind of things. Like you got to be able to uh, handle it, and especially in your lifestyle. Uh, like it, YouTube is now kind of part of me. And it has definitely changed me for the better. It's definitely grown my personality. And just to know that I've contributed a little bit to people's lives, it, it it's a different feeling. Uh, I get messages all the time, like Lamb Chops, like I love your videos or something like that. I get messages all the time. You guys see in my live streams, stuff like, oh, you inspire me to make YouTube videos. And just to see that type of response from a certain, type, certain types of people, it, it's weird knowing that I have gained or I have... That, that influence on people, you know? Like, I never had that influence growing up in my life. I was usually, I'm, I was the second child of my family. Usually it was my brother that uh, kind of, you know, led the way for, for me at least. And just to know that I've changed other people's lives uh, and I'm entertaining them, it, it's a really, like, really weird, but <laughs> really weird, but very satisfying thing to say. Like, you know what, I probably helped out people uh indirectly you know and it's all because i make these stupid nhl videos like you gotta you gotta admit like nhl game is kind of stupid in general just virtual hockey but to commentate over it and put myself out there uh and to get the feedback from you guys that's why i love the support on the videos uh it, i just love the interaction with you guys and i can't say that enough 
Uh, I thank all of you guys for coming out to my live streams. I like to do giveaways. People ask why I do giveaways and why I shouldn't do giveaways. Uh, but I love to just interact with the fans. I know some people don't want me to do it, but whatever. What am I going to do? All right, so that's kind of like the backstory of my YouTube, at least. It wasn't... Like, you kind of see the direction that I've been heading. You can watch my first video all the way till now, how much... I think I've changed a lot. I know how weird it was to make YouTube videos back then, especially with my camcorder. Uh, that was some weird shit. Uh, but now, all the way till now, it's like... It's gotten to this thing where I have all these gadgets and things to help me out. And all the money that I do get from my YouTube videos is all going... Trying to go back into content. And don't think I'm, I'm spending it on some weird stuff. I bought new devices since the beginning i've went through so many i went through the blue snowball went through four to five mics uh some capture devices as well uh i think at least four before i got my live gamer portable i had the dazzle i had the hd pvr i used all that i don't know how many times i've been in canada's computers just to get new stuff for you guys and and i know in the future i'm going to have to i'm going to buy the xbox one and that's going to be a shit ton of money with uh, especially I'm going to be giving away a copy of the NHL 15 to buy Gladiator who won the contest. Uh, I'll be buying the Ultimate Edition. It wasn't good enough just to buy the small edition for him. I, I thought I would buy him the Ultimate Edition at least. Get him the biggest packs ever. But yeah, I'm hoping for Hoping you're looking forward to these vlogs coming up. Like I said, feel free to post in the comments what you'd like me to talk about. Uh, I hope that this was... Shit, I gotta stop saying that. I hope that you guys uh, found this kind of interesting of how just my YouTube and how it's changed me and kind of affected you guys as well. Uh, but let me know in the comments uh, what would you like to see next and I'll be sure to check them out and probably comment on them since my, there's not too many people on here so far. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm looking for you. I'm living here, it's like, if I don't cook, there's no leftovers, there's no food in, like, the fridge at all, uh, other than raw ingredients.